Do you realize, do you realize that right this second, right now, somewhere around the world, some guy is getting ready to kill himself? <laughs> Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Did you ever stop and think about that kind of shit? I do. It's fun. And it's interesting, and it's true. Right this second, some guy is getting ready to bite the big bazooka. Because statistics show that every year, a million people commit suicide. A million. That's 2,800 a day. That's one every 30 seconds. There goes another guy. And I say guy, say guy, because men are four times more likely than women to commit suicide, even though women attempt it more. So men are better at it. That's something else you gals will want to be working on. Well, if you want to be truly equal, you're going to have to start taking your own lives in greater numbers. But, yeah. But I just think it's interesting to know, interesting, that's a big word in this show for me, interesting to know that at any moment, the odds are good that some guy is dragging a chair across the garage floor, <laughs> trying to get it right underneath that ceiling beam, wouldn't want to be too far off center. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. <laughs> Somewhere else, another guy is going over and getting a gun out of a dresser drawer. Somebody else is opening up a brand new package of razor blades. Maybe struggling with the cellophane a little bit, you know. Ah, oh, shit, it's always something. God damn it, folks. I just think that's interesting as hell. That's probably the most interesting thing you can do with your life. End it. I don't think I could do that, though. Could you? God. I couldn't commit suicide if my life depended on it. But I understand it, you know, I think I do. I don't wonder about it. I don't wonder, well, why did he do that? Or what was going through his mind? You know what I wonder? Where did he find a fucking time? <laughs> Who's got time to be committing suicide? Aren't you busy? I got shit to do. <laughs> suicide would be way down on my list. Probably down past lighting my own house on fire. <laughs> I might want to try a little self-mutilation first. You know, take a couple of hunks out of my arm. See if I like the general idea. Because you got to have priorities, man. You know? And you got to have a plan, too, for something like that. Got to plan that shit. People don't just run out the house and jump off a bridge. There are things you have to decide. Timing is important. When you're going to do it. Well, let me see now. Wednesday's out. Got to take Timmy to the circus. Survivor's on on Thursday. <laughs> Friday, I got my colon cleansing. <laughs> Folks are coming over on Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> By God, that'd be just a thing. Maybe mom will find my body. Serve her right for fucking me up the way she did. <laughs> then you have to pick a method. How are you going to do it? Well, let me see. Now. Afraid of heights, that's no good. Can't swallow pills, don't like the sight of blood. Fucking ovens are electric. I lie down in front of a train, except the Amtrak can come through here in 30 goddamn years. Maybe I'll just take a gun and shoot myself in the mouth. Uh, suppose I miss. People be laughing at me. Suppose I live. I have a big fucking hole in my head. I have to wear some kind of dumbass hat. Well, I guess I just hang myself. That'd be good. Gotta get a rope. Oh, shit, it's always something. I got a rope in the garage. Ah, it's got a lot of grease and paint on it. Don't want to get this stuff on my neck. Walmart's having a special on rope this weekend. No sense spending a lot of money to kill myself. Then again, I can always put it on my credit card. I'll never have to pay the fucking thing. 
Uh, that's it then. I'm hanging myself and Walmart's paying for it. <laughs> What's next? A note. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Gotta express myself. Hell, if I could express myself, I wouldn't be thinking of doing something like this. Where's a pen? You never find a pen. Told the kids not to move the pen away from that telephone. Goddamn kids. Well, let's just kill them too. Make it one of them family package deals. Ah, here's a pen. I'll just jam it into my fucking neck and get it over with. Let's see now. Where do you put the date? Upper left. I can never remember that. To whom it may concern. Uh, sounds kind of impersonal. Dear Marzell. Uh, leaves out the kids. I know. Hey guys, guess what? <laughs> Keep on reading. How are you? I hope you are fine. I am not fine. As you can no doubt tell from me hanging here from the ceiling fixture. You are the ones who drove me to this. I was doing just fine until you fuckers came along. I hope you're happy now that I'm goddamn dead. Sign the corpse in this room. P.S. Fuck you people. Yeah. Good luck. That would be a good note. I don't think a writer could ever commit suicide, do you? Writer would be too busy working on a note all goddamn year. Trying to get it just right. First draft, second draft, third revision, whole new ending. Finally, turn it into a book proposal and have a reason to live.